Today, I'm going to show you a little bit about this uh, 12 gauge brass shotgun shell crimping tool. Uh, these are Magtech loads that I loaded last, last season. And what they are is 12 gauge brass. Okay, they are loaded up right now 70 grains of APP and an ounce and a eighth. Of number eight shot there's a three-quarter inch fiber wad the shot a nitro card the shot and the overshot card and then glued in with uh, duco glue what that stuff is first of all okay here's one of the fiber wads that's the one that's directly over the nitro card and a nitro card is like that. That's a nitro card. And that basically it'll burn but it'll be the impact point for the powder. This wad is designed so that it gives a cushioning effect to the shot so it doesn't disform the shot and then the overshot card is just a little piece of cardboard you get my this is a little shot card anyway those go over the shot itself to hold it in and then duco glue People always are talking about using uh, wax and aqua glass and or water glass, and I can't seem to find that practically. You know, I'm sure I can order it and stuff online, but it's, it just seems easier just to get the Duco glue and glue in the card, and away I go. And they shoot just fine. So now what I'm doing here, if you can see the edge here, it's a crisp, sharp edge. Okay. And then in this press, this is a classic cast press, press by Lee, and it's an RCBS uh, shot shell die 12 gauge brass, and it will deprime with an attachment in it that came with the, the die set. Now, you see how that crimp is now it's just a slight little roll and that'll make all the difference chambering it in a match the problem I was having before I mean they would go in the chamber just fine because it was perfectly nice and smooth edge but that little perfect sharp edge would catch and hang up and I'd fuddle with the shells if you ever watched some of my videos with the shooting and you'll see how it was messing up like that so this should take care of that pretty much more than anything. This is by RCBS Cowboy Shot Shell Die 12 gauge brass. And the press behind here is a mech size master. It's a 10 gauge size master but I use it to drop the shot. I use uh, I drop the powder by hand. This is the depriming tool, and what this does is underneath here, this screws off. And this drops in. Now, this is this, the crimper. This drops in. screws in anyway then when you do the fired shell it'll deprime and this little ring here it goes around the bottom of the die is a sizing bushing I tried it at first to see how these shells were and they haven't deformed at all with my low-pressure cowboy loads and stuff 
so I wouldn't worry about that if you're doing it for this. If you're doing these to hunt and you're putting any sort of a heavier, heavier charge in these, as you can see, I have probably eh, a little better than a quarter of an inch from where the shot card is that could have either been made up probably in powder or shot or an extra wad. I, you know, but like I said, I was doing these before I had this die tool. So I'll we'll see how that goes, and I'll have a one of these days I'll get out there and actually try them out and see how they shoot. If you have any questions, leave a message, and I'll get them. Thank you. Bye.